On November 15th of this year, the USDA just announced and released their latest version of the hardiness zone map. This map is for gardeners everywhere to use to figure out the average extreme low temperatures of your area so that you know what kind of plants should survive and do well in your zone. Make sure to look at your area on the hardiness zone map to see if your zone has changed. Do check out the website. The new map is very cool. It's interactive. You can search right down to your zip code and then zoom in and use layers to see your house, which is really neat. To make this map, they utilized several thousand weather stations all across the country. So the map is very precise and you can get right down to the square mile as to where the zones are. Now, having said all of that, use caution when choosing your plants. The zone map is an average low temperature over the past 30 years average means we can still get quite a bit colder than that. If you're going to start planting zone 7 plants, make sure you put them in warm microclimate and you'll still want to protect them. All of your plants that are rated for lower zones will still be fine.